Perez has the exclusive interview. You can see where this fence has been toppled over. This is where CHP says the suspect crashed and took off running. Today, CHP arrested 25-year-old George Valentin of Corona for felony hit and run. Chances are part of what helped find him was this unbelievable video. Where's the motorcycles? Can you call 911? The cell phone video is stunning. A minivan speeding east down the 91 freeway outside of Corona with a motorcycle lodged in its front bumper, trailing a fiery stream of sparks. If your jaw is on the ground, imagine being the guy who was on that bike. Rider Chain Arinti Rowett saw the video this morning. Oh, this guy did try to kill me. That, those weren't the words. There was a lot more probably <laughs> I feel like it was intentional, like he hunted, he hunted me down. This is all that's left of his motorcycle. It was just before 8 last night when he says he got hit from behind so suddenly that when he landed some 200 feet away in the middle of the freeway, he had no idea what happened. CHP estimates he was going 65 when the minivan hit him, going 70 right before the 15 interchange and kept going. Most people pulled me over and were like, where's my bike at? Like my bike was nowhere to be seen. And that was just, it was just like, uh, it was crazy. As he waited for help, Will Ross and Natalie Duran were following the sparking minivan, calling CHP and recording. My first thought was, you know, like, oh my gosh, where is this poor motorcyclist? What happened to him? The best I kept trying to describe to the 911 operator is it literally looked like I witnessed something out of a movie. <laughs> It, it was shocking. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. This is the minivan CHP recovered. They say the hit and run driver exited at McKinley Street, where the bike fell off the bumper here. The driver kept going, crashing into this fence about a mile away, before CHP says the driver fled on foot. Unbelievably, Irene Tirowit has no broken bones or internal bleeding. He was wearing a helmet, gloves, and boots. He was even able to walk when paramedics arrived. He admits he might still be in shock, but says when he saw the video. My main thought is like, my poor bike, um, it's never going to be okay again. <laughs> I, I can't fix it. He is actually quite emotional. He has road rash all over his body and pain so bad in his hands. He says he was screaming in the hospital. But tonight he's home and says he'd like to thank the couple that took that video and also to find the man and woman who helped him off the freeway. In Corona, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.